great. Well, it's, it's a pleasure to be here and to present um, on the Pankhurst Institute. So I'm Anya Jolie. I'm the acting operations manager, but I'm also um, a strategic funding manager. So I, I, I support academic to develop grant proposals, a large one um, and strategic one. Um, so I'm going to start with the introduction. So uh, some of you may know, so Pankhurst is a 25 million investment from a partnership. So um, the partners include Manchester, Manchester University Foundation Trust, um, Manchester Science Partnership, and also the uh, local authorities. And this partnership, this investment is meant to um, to help the city region to develop new solution, new health solution uh, to respond to unmet clinical needs. So it has a regional remit, but we hope as well to help nationally uh, by generating new uh, health innovation. So the idea of this interdisciplinary network is um, a network institute is to um, focus and encourage and facilitate uh, translation of health technology. So um, to capitalize on the research strength that we have in, in, in academia in, at, the, at the universities, so in particular digital health and advanced material, but it's not only limited to, to those two. It's to um, work closely with our, with our um, um, cross-sector partners, so industries, a local industry base, and, and, and the trust across Greater Manchester to uh, develop solutions to meet real healthcare needs, so to stay connected to our uh, clinical partners, and to, as I mentioned, accelerate the translation into practice um, of those uh, solutions. So uh, why Pankhurst? So Pankhurst, actually the idea of Pankhurst well, is, is not new, it's very old now and it started uh, merging in 2016 where uh, the local um, industrial strategy was set up and recognised that uh, the University of Manchester and the other universities in Greater Manchester had a lot to offer to uh, generate new health innovation. And, and so health innovation is a part, is a strategic priority of the local industrial strategy. So, um, so why Pankhurst? Um, we, well, from a discussing with academic, uh, I have a background in material science for um, um, to apply in medicine. So I know we all know more or less that um, it's not easy to translate or commercialize health innovation. There is a lot of support uh, from the university and local partners, but it's often fragmented. And so they, they, um, they're not joined up. And so that could be very confusing for academics and researchers. So we would like to coordinate and grow excellent um, um, support um, for uh, researchers interested in translating health technology. Uh, we want to help to articulate the healthcare needs of the city region and beyond and to um, address those uh, with uh, bespoke and um, in health innovation. So there is there are multiple barriers that we would like to help uh, overcome. And uh, also, we focus a lot on co-development at its key. So co-developing solution with uh, a cross-sector, with the clinical sector and the industrial sector. So as I mentioned, health technology is a team sport. So not only is multidisciplinary, so when you have a material scientist or an engineer or a data scientist, they don't talk the same language, um, the, um, the same language as the biomedical scientist and even further away from the clinician. So there, there are already language barrier, but there are more. So um, everyone is complementary and, 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 um, and can provide and contribute to the success of developing new health innovation. And so, um, so, so yeah, so it's acknowledged and we all know that there are a lot of barriers along the way from the idea and from the deployment. Um, and the pandemic uh, has highlighted a lot of health inequalities and, and, and a lot of problems, but it also demonstrated the value of technology and how technology, health technology can help addressing serious uh, problems and, and, and address the pandemic. 
So working together, um, and we can uh, help the, the, the NHS and clinician to deliver um, excellent care to patients and the wider public. So um, what is the idea is to close the gap between those barriers. So we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We want to work with the partners to provide seamless activity and seamless support um, uh, from this not quite joined up uh, infrastructure for health technology um, translation. And we also want to uh, uh, partner and develop a strong relationship with our local industry base, also national industry base, but also with our, our uh, communities, uh, patient, public, uh, the local authorities, local government, and the clinics, the clinician in the trust. So one of the primary focus of the uh, bankers was to define an end-to-end -end pathway for health technology development and deployment and commercialization. Um, it's to, it was to understand the landscape, so what do we have in what are the, um, the pipeline of um, health innovation at the university to integrate them with the health innovation? We have a partner, health innovation, innovation, uh, the health innovation Manchester innovation pipeline, and to identify the gap for those um, project projects to go forward and to move higher in the technology readiness level. Um, so, as I mentioned, the role of Pankers in that. Um, uh, spirits is to orchestrate um, uh, appropriate and relevant support when needed to help researchers to navigate that complicated end-to-end uh, uh, -end pathway and to fill the gap in that support. So um, this is a beginning, this is still a work in progress, a roadmap on how uh, of, to develop um, health innovation and health technology. So while um, the translational pathway for medicine is uh, medicines and drugs is well established, uh, we know that there is preclinical studies and, and then clinical studies and phase one, two, three clinical uh, trial, the, the pathway for medical devices a different tier because there is different tier of medical devices and digital health technology um, and, and for service transformation is actually not well understood and not well known from uh, researchers. So there is thing to think about early when you uh, develop a new product. And so this is a, a working progress that we work by consulting um, engineers and material scientists that want to develop technology uh, with their experience of barrier and hurdle that they encountered while trying to um, uh, develop uh, technology. So in the medical devices, there is a, a low tier that includes software engineering and how to uh, uh, develop those through to the real world, um, the deployment to the NHS, and that involves a lot of um, IPs issues um, and ethical issues with data and so on. And this is still not clear on how to address those issues. So it's, those are specific for health technology and, um, and, and yeah, so health technology in general. So there, there are a lot uh, of partners uh, working uh, with bankers and, and there is a lot of infrastructure um, available at the university and within the partnership uh, with uh, local partners um, to support researchers to develop health technology. We work with a lot of them. And as you can see, they are um, all involved at different uh, parts of the pathway. Um, so we're here to really coordinate, to signpost and to um, to help researchers to identify what they need when and to navigate that pathway. So all the, the disciplines that are involved uh, in uh, the bankers where we uh, pro provide uh, support at translational research, and this is working very closely with the translation at Manchester uh, team. So um, also implementation science, uh, health economic support to um, identify and predict the health and economics impact, impact of uh, the technology, evaluation, real world 
condition. So that is something that uh, um, researchers struggle with and that we have support at the university and with the partner to provide um, that information and also working because it's a co-development and it's sharing um, um, values with everyone so working with the public as well because when you create a health technology there will be ultimately the a public acceptance and compliance with those technologies so if you don't have them on board quite soon you know you can develop a great technology but they won't uh, want to uh, 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 take it and and also uh, we want um, to address um, health inequalities and to deploy those technology that can improve the life of people to all parts of the communities and in particular to the uh, underrepresented part of the community so um, we work so so the the, the Pankos Institute, Institute is truly cross-disciplinary involving all the parts of the, the universities, the Faculty of Humanities, Science and Engineering, and um, Biology, Medicine and Health. So those are the uh, vision and the priority. They were in the uh, um, present in the introduction. So we want to build a community of practice around health technologies uh, and, 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 and co-develop really co-creation, co-develop a new technology, so working closely with companies, care providers, etc., all the relevant key stakeholders, develop a shared understanding of the health and care needs and opportunities that we could uh, um, address and, and, and benefit from, uh, co-creation and uh, provide a comprehensive support uh, for the researchers all uh, along the uh, transition pathway. Um, there will be a building. Um, the expected completion is next year, uh, summer uh, 2022. So it's soon we will have the hub building that will be able to meet and provide support in person um, um, to, to deliver the objective of the pain curse. There, we, there will be also a dedicated space within City Labs 4.0, and that is ideal as this space will be at the art of an incubation space and also the NHS, the MFT campus. Um, one of the flagship program that uh, we started uh, since last year is to support our local industrial environment, and so we've been so we've been awarded an ERDF project uh, that is led by Health Innovation Manchester, but the University of Manchester is a significant partner, um, and this project, this accelerator, is meant to. Uh, provide a bespoke support to SMEs to accelerate um, the development and improve um, commercialization of their products. So it's to support that commercialization of new products in the life science uh, market. So we know that companies have issues uh, to, to, to commercialize in the life science market, it's, it's information, uh, the barrier to entry to the market, and also um, the access to the market via the NHS. And, and this is linked to health economics model that are not well understood and a real evaluation uh, of, those, um, of those products. So um, these they are the targets is a bit different to the type of project the university um, work on as the TRA level, the technology readiness level is quite high. So we start typically three, four, where the university will um, take the lead in providing support and it goes up to the end of the spectrum and that support will be provided typically by Health Innovation Manchester. So just quickly, um, this accelerator is divided in two um, parts. So there is a, a level one, which is called the support zone. And so this highlight the, uh, the University of Manchester project team that is composed of business engagement that will engage with the SMEs at the entry and innovation factory uh, and also health economics. So we provide support uh, um, a, a first 
you know, point of entry support and we can deliver a little bit of um, uh, health economics and commercialization. Then when they achieved and they completed that level of support, which consists of meetings and report and perhaps market analysis, they could, they could request, so there is a menu of support and they could request additional regulatory and commercialization support or health economics analysis. But where we uh, can, we have an opportunity to co-develop project with industry is via those POM primed R&D collaborative project. And so this is a competitive um, selection process whereby company will team up with an academic, co-develop a proposal and then go through a, a pitching uh, um, process where at the end they could develop, co-develop a, a, a project with academics and have access through that project to some of um, the university uh, facilities. So these uh, the SMEs we have and, and, and where we want to develop support in this, all this critical area um, of, of, of research. And, and, and one important thing is that we do support uh, startups as well and spin out company from the University of Manchester. So if you are in that position, we have a spin out company, please get in touch with us because we can offer support through the ERDF project, free support for companies for a start. And so that cl that's closed my presentation. Um, Please, if you have any question, um, uh, don't hesitate to, um, to go on the website and then contact the Pankers team and uh, we'll be able to provide more information. Thank you very much.